Hello, hello. Echo, echo, echo. My street name used to be Echo when I was younger. We used to hang out over in this area in the northwest um, side of the square. And then um, they decided that uh, homeless kids were too loud and rowdy and obnoxious. And so they made us move over there to the southwest corner. And that's where you see all those kids over there now. In the Lakota language, we say Dahiahe, which means it's good to see you here. My name is Leah Gibson. I am in my fourth year as a student at PCC, obtaining my second associate's degree before transferring to a four-year college. I am also a graduate of PCC's Gateway to College program. I have always had some kind of anxiety about school. When I started high school, I started off in the honors program, but dropped out halfway through the first half of the year. I began taking acid and speed and was smoking pot and drinking on a regular basis. I had horrible mood swings and panic attacks and became verbally abusive to my mother and my little brother. I was having suicidal episodes and had pretty much stopped eating. My parents finally sat me down and told me that I had two choices, either to quit using and drinking and to take my anxiety and depression medications as prescribed or to leave. How they seem. Listen up. This is where I came one night when I was on the streets, and um, I was having trouble sleeping. Um, I was with a friend of mine. We were laying out over here, and um, I couldn't sleep because I was scared. I was only 14. I was really small. Um, I was afraid that someone could hurt me or something out here. So. I ended up staying up at night and just looking at the posters and the actors and stuff like that. And I always remembered um, when I was younger and I always wanted to be an actress. I realized then that I would never be able to become an actress. I'd never be able to have that dream or that goal if I continued to keep going the way that I was going and living the kind of life that I was living. And so I decided right then and there that I was going to change my life. and. Um, try to work towards that goal again, or at least something better than what I had out here, living that kind of life out here in the streets and using and drinking and stuff, just that was worse than death to me. I'm doing some really scary things right now. I'm leaving to go to college in South Dakota where I don't know anybody. I'm gonna be graduation speaker in two days in front of 2,000 people at the Memorial Coliseum. And even this project is scary for me. Um, it's very challenging. It gets me outside of my comfort zone. But it's not something dangerous, like dangerous kind of scary. like things I used to do when I was younger to get that same high, that same thrill. I used to um, go to the top of some of the buildings down here in downtown Portland and just kind of skip along the sides, the edges. And they would be edges not very um, bigger than this. And um, I think I did it for the thrill, kind of, you know, like I was always looking for some kind of thrill, some kind of um, Something different, something scary, you know. You can still get that thrill, you can still get that energy and that challenge without having to do those bad negative things. Well, I'm getting ready to do a speech. I am the sp student speaker for um, our graduation. I'm going to be putting on my PCC hat that I decorated. All my cross outs. 
That's my speech. Believe it or not, I am terrified of speaking in public. I get shaky and nervous and feel like I'm going to throw up. But I continue to do this with the hope that my story will inspire people and motivate them to continue reaching out to students like me. This is O'Brien Square, Paranoia Park, we used to call it. I stayed here a couple of times when I was on the streets because um, the shelter near here um, has a curfew and if you don't make it to curfew then you're kind of stuck out for the night. Um, so I came here a couple of times to try to sleep but it's not really a good place. A lot of people um, got into fights here and there's a lot of drugs sold and bought here. and It's not very good memory. I've been trying to think about this question for about a week now, um, about what it took to get me to change what I, what I found worked, really worked for me. And that was that I had to take all those inner feelings that I was feeling and kind of ignore them a little bit, to, for, for a while at least. I had to ignore the feeling of wanting to drink or wanting to use. I had to ignore the feeling of wanting to do something crazy. I had to ignore the feeling of just going off on one of my instructors or something like that. I had to ignore all those feelings like the anger, the sadness, the frustration, everything. And I had to find new things to replace those. So um, I worked with therapists sometimes to do things like holding onto an ice cube when I wanted to hit something or when I wanted to cut myself. He'd have me hold on to an ice cube until my hand was just completely numb. Um, finding different things that weren't hurtful towards me to get through those emotions and get through the, the hard times. And so now I'm at that point where I don't have to do those things anymore because I've found better things to replace them with. It's, it's the hardest thing ever to try to ignore what you're feeling inside or trying not to do the things that you've been doing for so long. And that's how you break habits. One thing I really want to say to um, people in the Gateway to College program that are trying to change their life is that um, don't be hard on yourself, really don't. It's really, really hard to change like that, to ignore those things inside of you and those behaviors and those habits. It's so hard to do that and it takes a really strong person to be able to do that. And Everybody falls. I did. Everybody did, you know? Everybody who's come through some big change, like we've all had to struggle with it. And so there will be struggles. It'll be hard. Um, you will fall, but the people who are really going to make it are the ones that will pick themselves up again and try again and just keep trying and trying and trying. And that's what you have to decide is whether you want it for yourself or not. The advice that I would give to students who are struggling to keep up with the program is that sometimes you have to bear up and you have to decide um, how you want your life to be and you have to decide what isn't good for you and it's your choice. Always remember that it's your choice um, how you want your life to be and the things that you want in your life. Um, and nobody else can change that for you but you. No one else can decide that but you. Um, and what you want and what's good for you is going to be different from all, just about everybody else. But that you're the only one who can make those changes in you. Nobody can force you to do it. Nobody can make you decide those things for yourself. There's going to be a time when you're going to have to decide, whether it's consciously or unconsciously, what it is um, you really want and what you really want out of life. And it can be really, really hard to get rid of those old behaviors and those old habits that aren't so good for you, but that you have the strength to do it, you have the courage, you have the motivation, you just have to tap into it and just keep going with that. 
with the one thing that you know is right. Just keep going with that and hold on to that as hard as you can and just keep going towards that goal. And don't let anything stop you. to introduce this year's speaker, Ms. Leah Gibson. Leah came to PCC as a student in our Gateway to College program. She is currently the student body president at the Cascade campus. She also served as the director of legislative affairs and the director of diversity programming. Leah has also served in leadership positions in the PCC United Tribes Club and has been active with the Native American Youth Association, serving as a mentor and tutor for many Native American high school students. Her achievements and record of service, despite having to overcome many challenges, inspire all of us around her. Ms. Leah Gibson. I can't tell you how good it feels to finally be graduating. I started out at Portland Community College as a high school student in the Gateway to College program. I graduated that program after two years and went on to complete my Associate of Science and now my Oregon Arts Transfer degree. I'm about to take this big risk. I'm about to move on from everything that I know here with my school, my family, my friends, my boyfriend, my native ceremonies and community, everything. As of this fall, I will be studying journalism and the Lakota language at Black Hill State University in South Dakota. One of my favorite quotes is, be the change that you wish to see in the world. That's by a very strong woman that I admire, Eleanor Roosevelt. I love this quote because it gives me hope that by accepting and valuing change, we can all make some great things happen in this world. I am inspired and motivated by so many of the people here who I have met and their stories. Know that your stories and experiences have helped to give me and other students the strength, hope, and courage to face our fears as so many of you have done every day to get to where you are now. You should all be so proud of what you have accomplished and where you are going. In closing, I would love nothing more than to hear a great big round of applause for all the students here and for all of the struggles that we have come through and the fears that we have faced to get to our graduation day. Congratulations, we did it. Wonders and wishes persisted. Thousands of pictures and thoughts of existence. Retrace my own. Find my coordinates. Grab a hold of this roller coaster. Combusted over mess. Directed us me from the soul shepherds. Blessed with hand that command. Pretend we on the same planet. Granted, I've been stranded. Concentration on the madness. Swallow